Hey guys, so um, today I wanted to share uh, my experience with soldering and problems with different kinds of solder. So I'm going to show you some things. Um, first of all, my friend bought this soldering set on Amazon. It was like $15. And it comes with um, a multimeter and some other stuff. It did not come with this. I had to buy that, which sucks up the solder. It did come with different soldering tips. And um, I'm, I can't remember if it came with this or not, which is to cut the wires. It came with this solder though. And um, this is the soldering iron. Here it is. So here's the soldering iron. Um, it just plugs in. And I've, ow, I've put, ow and don't bring yourself. Um, I've put some uh, some stuff under here so that it doesn't move because it's pretty slippery. So um, I've been using this because I tried to use this other one that I got that's just USB and it didn't even work. So I tried to plug it into a USB connector and it didn't work and it also didn't work in my computer. I think there's something wrong with the connection here. So I don't know if you can see that. Um, so there's a connection here and it just seems very, uh, like not, not very good. So, um, basically what I'm doing is I'm making a Christmas tree, a light up Christmas tree for my friend, another friend for Christmas. And, um, it comes together like this. You can follow the directions and you can learn how to solder better using this. But I've run across some problems. One problem I ran across was that uh, while I was trying to solder, the solder would ball up. So this it was this solder that came with the big set. And it would saw it would um, ball up and so I tried the other soldering iron and that didn't work at all so I'm going to show you what happens when I try to use this solder versus this little piece of solder which is what came with a smaller more expensive and not working USB soldering iron I believe um, and I read a little bit about it on um, on Reddit that this is a little bit better quality and so it moves in to the electrical component on the board more easily whereas um, this solder like something's wrong with the flux so I just wanted to show you what happens when the solder is not very good quality First I'm going to line this up. Um, it's a resistor so it doesn't matter which way it faces. It can face this way, it can face this way. Um, but it's best to line them all up the same way. So I'm lining these up um, facing the gold facing away from the number. So here's one. And I folded these. These were straight. Here's the other one. Okay, put those in there, turn it over. So now we have these two guys in here. And um, what I'm going to try to do is solder them in with this. I'm going to try this cheap one, and you're going to see what happens with the cheap solder. Let me make sure it's um, focused. Okay. So 
First of all, tinning is a challenge. Okay, it's kind of tinned. And then I'm getting it wet. Okay. I'm going to feed the solder into this section here. But it doesn't feed very easily. See, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. And now it's like a ball of silver. And I press on it and, oh, well, we have a tiny little ball there, but <laughs> it's just a challenge. And you can see how messy it's getting. Goes the first ball. Uh, okay. <laughs> now it's stuck. It's not. It's not going on smoothly. Okay, I'm giving up now. Okay, so now we can see that this solder just doesn't work very well. Let's try the other solder. Happened. So that was able to easily attach to the board and completely make a, um, a soldered area. Just to give you another example, let's try another one. we go. Very easy, complete, beautiful, perfectly attached sections. Okay, let's try again with the bad solder. Okay, this is just incredibly frustrating. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, it's smoking. No, something's happening, but... Ah. Uh, now we have a bunch of pe pieces of, like, dirty-looking metal all over the board. Oh, look at that. That is horrible. <laughs> okay, cheap solder. All right. I'm giving up on that. Good solder. Almost instant satisfaction when it happens. Some of the other solder is residual there. So it's not quite as pretty as the other ones. But 
it's not horrible. The problem is I don't think I have enough solder for the rest of this board. lesson for you. Also, apparently if it's too hot, um, the soldering iron will um, take the flux out of the solder before you can actually uh, do anything. So you don't want it to be too hot either. Right now mine is at 300 degrees Celsius. Cheers! Merry Christmas! Or happy day, happy evening, happy morning. <laughs>